was no kidnapping on Thursday, July 9th, 13th, 2023. My client did not see a baby on the side of the road. My client did not leave the Hoover area when she was identified as a missing person. My client did not have any help in this incident, but this was a single act done by herself. My client was not with anyone or any hotel with anyone during the time she was missing. My client apologizes for her actions to this community. The volunteers who were searching for her, to the Hoover Police Department and other agencies as well, as to her friends and family. We ask for your prayers for Carly as she addresses her issues and attempts to move forward, understanding that she made a mistake in this matter. Carly, again, ask for your forgiveness and prayers. We have a meeting scheduled with Mr. Anthony to further discuss this case. We're currently in discussions with the Jefferson County District Attorney's Office in Bessemer about possible criminal charges related to this case, and we will announce those charges when and if they are filed. What's up? What's up? I'm not going to be here long. Um, Listen, so Carly, Carly, Carly Russell girl, we back on you again. Seems that the jig is up. She up there confessing. I told you. I told you guys it was just a matter of time before it all came out. I told y'all that it was a matter of time. Now, think about this. She had her parents out there lying, making false statements, saying that there was still a kidnapper out there. Now, you heard those police officers. They didn't say that they were going to relieve them of any wrongdoing on that press conference. This is what happens when you involve other people in your bullshit and your shenanigans. And again, don't be surprised if you hear more information because I don't believe she just pulled this all by herself. I don't believe she was just sitting in the, in the tree in the forest eating some Cheez-Its. Just know that, just know there'll be maybe somebody else. Just like we discussed on the last slide, there may be somebody who helped her with this in some way, shape or form. Shape or form. She is going to get in trouble, period. I told y'all this on the first, the second, and I even dropped a video on it. She is going to be in trouble. Do not, do not, remember what I said, do not be surprised to hear that criminal charges are filed against Carly Russell. And this is what's going to make it even harder for Carly. The fact that she won't even talk to those, those, uh, those, uh, the police, right? She hide behind her mama. She hide behind that attorney. You know, she didn't lower it up because she knew that she was lying, right? So the police still haven't, they still haven't gotten a chance to actually speak to her about the situation. So we'll never probably really know what she did or why she did it because she's hiding behind everyone. What's up? What's up? What's up? So just know, just like I said, it was a damn lie, right? Just know it was a damn lie. Like I said, it was never a baby. I never seen a man with her. I never seen I never seen somebody taking her from the forest or from the area. That's what I'm trying to say. So just know, just know, criminal charges are coming against her. They've been waiting for her to either admit or get their hands on her. See, she's playing. See, this is what's interesting about Carly. She's playing, this this girl is really, you know, she's got a you know she's coming from a good background. She really got a good family. They must have a real good lawyer. But at the end of the day. At the end of the day, the truth will have you will have to stand stand for this. You will, you will have to answer to this in one sh uh, one way or the other, right? Um, Tila said, "I hope she's charged to the fullest extent of the law." Period. Lie, lie, lie. Just to think about all those people that that put out that content. She was kidnapped. It was a man. She was in a truck. They fed her cheeses. She did this. All that shit was a lie. Everything was a lie. Guys, that's why when I was telling y'all, I didn't believe none of it. I didn't believe none of it. I never saw a baby. I didn't believe she was kidnapped. I believe she's a damn lie. This is what I was saying. At the end of the day, um, I definitely feel there's a problem. Let me say this too. What's interesting to me, right? This is also, I don't know if y'all paid attention to this. She kept her social, she's keeping her social media up. You know why? Because she likes the attention. She's, she's so traumatized. She's been kidnapped. All this stuff is going on. But she's on social media paying attention to 
social media. She's on social media liking comments. She's never shut the comments down one time. They're in the comments tearing her up. She's actually in the comment section deleting comments, by the way. Because you, can, if you read through the comments, people are literally saying that she's deleting their comments. You cannot delete thousands upon thousands upon thousands of comments saying the same thing. Right? So she's literally on social media watching, reading, and deleting comments. Right? This girl really is delusional. Like, she really thinks this is a joke. I bet you today, when she heard that they're looking to press some charges on her ass, she probably woke up a little bit, didn't she? Don't think these people are not going to press charges on her, y'all. She lied and said there was a baby on the road. She lied and said she was kidnapped by a man with a woman in a, in a truck. That she she got she got uh she escaped and she was re kidnapped. She lied. She lied about the whole thing. She's lying about where her whereabouts. She's lying about how she got back to the house on the street she lived. She claimed she ran all the way through the woods until she got to the house. Babe, I've been living in New Orleans my whole life. If you drop me off the interstate right now in the woods, I wouldn't even know to go right left. Shit, what you talking about? Is you crazy? Let me go to Baton Rouge right now and go get dropped off right there by the exit over there on 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 uh, on La Place. I wouldn't know how to get from there to the damn house. I wouldn't know how to get from Highland Road, which is my dad's exit in the woods to my dad's house. Are you serious? Girl, you playing a lot of games. Y'all got to think about what she's saying. This girl is literally saying that she went from the interstate into the woods and ran to her family house. That don't even make no sense. All over a man who doesn't want her to do anything with her. Or, you know, he was on the inter- you know, he was on Instagram defending her. Position. We shouldn't be bullying her, all this stuff. Boy, shut your ass up. People have the right to be upset. They have the right to be angry. I don't believe in threats. I don't believe in bullying. But I can't control what other people do. You know, I don't, I can't control what people do. I don't agree with it, but at the end of the day, shut up. But again, I told y'all, I told y'all, that's why I said this, this girl is making this shit up. She's making it up. She's lying. She's scheming and nobody kidnapped her. There was never a man. There was never a baby. There was never a woman. There was never a truck. She was never kidnapped. None of this stuff never happened to her. I told y'all this. Okay. So, it has been finally solved as far as what happened. Not We don't know. Like, we we did a reading about what she was doing and what she could have been doing. But it's only like the police say. Carly only really knows what she really was doing in that that period of time. And eventually, we'll discover that through the investigation, too. The poor people who donated, the ones who donated $25,000, well, they're going to all get their money back. Because when when the the actual fund got frozen, and then those funds will go back to everybody, so no one's gonna nobody's out of their money. It's just that it's a shame that you know when I donate to people's causes, that's something I do out of my heart. So it's just the it's just the it's the it's the it's the principle, you know. But my thing is, what's the reason for all of this attention? You know. What do you mean with the t- look attention? We did a whole reading on it on YouTube, child. I cannot go and revisit this again. Attention. Just like when she like she looked up the Ambler. What do you think she looked up the Ambler for? So that she could see if somebody would literally put an Ambler out for her. To see if somebody would be finding her, looking for her. Right? Like, at the end of the day, this is a, a teach intention-seeking move. Where there's attention from the man, attention from the parents, attention in general. It's fucking attention. A person that, like, like the people on social media that be getting into all kinds of stuff. It's all about attention. Blue face mom all day long on Instagram bullying a 22-year-old girl. That's an attention clout-chasing thing. Tasha K going after Cardi B, then lost everything, then lost everything. Attention. Attention is really like, man, attention is 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 that is a beast. Attention I have you do some real crazy things. Her dad's eyes said it all in that interview after she came back, period. 
It's all about attention. You can flip it, rub it down. Oh no, it's attention. And when it's all said and done, this is an attention seeking move. And clearly, as much as she's had this charmed life, her life can't be that charmed because she's doing things that would make you feel concerned for a person, right? She's doing things that are out of that make you feel like, you know, what's going on? That's why people I tell people all the time, money don't make you happy. Money don't make you happy. And let me say, you could come from the best parents. Look at our parents. They look like pretty good people. It's about the person's mental mindset. The things that they perceive and pick up through their parents, through others, as they're in school. You know, you know, this girl, this young lady could have felt like she didn't have attention her whole life, even though she may have been the center of her parents' attention. Sometimes the attention from from others is more important than the attention you get from your own household and you're within inside your own house. This is why so many children they get with friends on the outside and their friends are, are able to influence them more than their own parents. You know, my mom worked hard every day. She had two and three jobs. She made sure we never went without. Right? But then you go and you join a gang and you get in trouble and you're going to jail. Your mama ain't never seen a day in jail her whole life. Your mama always been a hardworking woman. But she, but but the streets, your friends, had more of an influence on you than your own mama who worked every day to make sure you had what you needed. People are more, people are out here trying to get attention from the wrong people. You know, people who are not factored to your life when it's all said and done. This is who you seek attention from. And now you got your mama and your daddy. I'm from the South, so I'm going to say mom and daddy, y'all. Now you got your mama and your daddy out here looking foolish. Lying for you. Even when we could tell they looked like they knew it was a damn lie. And now these people, I'm sure they probably won't get caught up. But I have, I feel like there is a chance for them to get caught up with her. But they can always say, you know what? The parents were just going with whatever she told them, right? She going to be the one that's caught up at the end of the day. She's going to be one. And the police still don't believe that she did it by herself. Because if you actually watch that whole thing, he pretty much said, you know, when they say, do you believe it? You know, she had help. He said, I'm just reading the lawyer's statement. We don't know if she had help. So they still don't believe she did this all by herself, y'all. Okay. I read between all the lines. The police basically didn't take off the table. What's that, Clo Clo? The, uh, the uh, police didn't take off the table her parents. The police didn't take off the table that she wouldn't be arrested. I mean, that she wouldn't be charged. And the police didn't take off the table that somebody helped her. Y'all, if you go listen to it all over again, listen to it. I listen to stuff over and over again to catch things. I'll go watch a movie again to catch things. I'll go listen. I'll go read an article again. To catch things. I'll go read something again. Just to see if I miss something. That's just what I do. Right? But uh, at the end of the day y'all. We over here. On Blue Nola Lane. We uh, we already said it was a damn lie. <laughs> so. We have solved the case. We have put it to bed. Now we just going to follow it through. We are going to keep following it. We're going to follow it through to see what's the charges, what's going to happen. We're going to follow this through just like we followed the Tory Lanez. Child, they know she had help because why would she go out of her way to say she didn't? Exactly. See, she's too busy listening to social. She wants to clear that up because of her boyfriend, right? Y'all got to pay attention to that. You got to clear that up because of her boyfriend. She don't want her boyfriend to think she was at the Red Roof Inn with another person. People saying she was at the Red Roof Inn with a 17-year-old. People are saying she had help. So she don't want to take that risk of saying that she was with somebody who helped her, number one, implicating someone else. Number two, that she was in a hotel. Number three, in a hotel with an underage. So she's been on social media listening. She's been on social. That's what I'm saying. She's been on social media listening. Those are the things. The statement that was put out to the, today were the things that resonated with her. Right? Those are the things that made her feel she had to address. Because 
if it wasn't nothing to that, I wouldn't even address that. I would I wouldn't have never address no I wasn't with nobody else. I went went hit my head, fell into the cracks, made up the story, child, ran in the woods, ate some chips, came back home. You know what I'm saying? What are you talking about here? This is why critical thinking skills is valuable, period. The boyfriend put the D spell. <laughs> the boyfriend put that spell D on her. My goodness. These women be so stupid over man. It's it's actually fucking oh, let me stop cursing, child. It's sad. No amount of man, no amount of love, no amount of nothing could make me go and pretend like I'm damn kidnapped somewhere. What? What are you like? What are we talking about here? Hey, Crystal, are you from YouTube? Feels like I I don't know. I feel like I know you, but the bottom line is, women be so delusional over a man. It's sad. So we're gonna follow this case all the way through, you um you guys um we're gonna follow it all the way through. So when we hear the announcement about if they're gonna make the charges or file the charges, hey girl, black girl. Make the charge, file the charge, we're going to follow that. Once it goes into from the next step to the next step to the next step, we're going to follow it all the way through. Okay? I don't believe she did it by herself. I believe she has some help somehow. Ain't nobody running in the forest. Where the hell was you, girl, all this time? You wasn't sitting in no tree eating no Cheez-Its. Where were you? So, you claim you wasn't at the rear roof inn. Where were you? How you doing? Crystal Johnson. Crystal Johnson. You into spirituality? You do spiritual work too? At the end of the day, all I have to say to you is that's, don't be surprised. Okay? So, I'm about to get something to eat. What's up, Jerry Jameson? Snuggly in the road. She stole from work. <laughs> Okay, she was shaved. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Baby had on her robes, her toilet tissue, and her and her cheese is yeah. And a in a bottle of and a in a in a bottle of Snapple and enjoying her two days out doing God knows what, yeah. Lie, lie, lie. Then then the thing is, kept the lie going. She's been home for a week now. She's been home for a week, so you continued this lie for a whole week, child. She got back home Wednesday. What was it? Was it? Was it? She was gone Sunday. Was it? No, it was. It was what? This has been a week, right? Cause she went missing on the thirteenth, right? This girl was it the thirteenth? Let me see. Cause this would mean she kept this lie up for like what a week to two weeks. Hold on, child. What's up? Faye Hutch. For Hutch. Let me see. Let me see. Carly Nichols. When this girl got missing? Because I feel like this been like she kept this up for a long time, y'all. She must really. Y'all seen that movie Gone Girl? That movie Gone Girl was so similar to Carly's story. The only difference in Carly's story is that Carly didn't kill anybody. Nobody was dead. She has to continue to lie for her parents' sanity. She couldn't continue that long. They must have talked to her and said, "Baby, we gonna need you to get it. We don't. We gonna need you to get the lie. We gonna have to get the lie. We gonna have to get the lie straight because these people coming for you." She had to celebrate her birthday first. Mm. So she was meant, went missing on July thirteenth. Today is the twenty fourth. She's been going with this lie for over two weeks, guys. She's been going with this lie for almost, wait, 13th, the 13th to the, the 13th, 24th. So that's what, 10, 11 days. She's been going with this lie for almost two weeks, guys. Two weeks. Almost two weeks of a lie. Not, okay, something happened, boom, bow, tell the truth. Oh, for my bad. No. How you made a mistake and you've been sitting on this lie for 11 days. That's not a mistake. Hello, hello, Blue Chanel 20, 2001. What's up, girl? What's up? That's my Tate. What's up? What's up? Miss Dazzle, you in the building? You chilling? 
But you've been lying, girl, for 11 days. I know you lying. Her parents has to know she's lying. Any intensive parent would know. Yes, of course they know. That's why the police said to them, when, you know, when they say, will the parents get any charges? That's why the police said, well, you know, we're looking into all of that. Right? Now you done got your mama and your daddy hooked up. She better check into the mental facility to still help her case. Girl, ro- let me tell you something. Her royalist, royal, I- what is it, royal ISIS? She can check into whatever mental institution she needs to. She's still going to get them charges on you. Being having a mental problem does not absolve you, excuse you from your criminal activity. If you look up right now on Google, does having a mental health condition excuse you from criminal, uh, from being punished criminally? It is a no. They have a lot of people with mental health issues sitting right up in jail. Okay. Y'all messing with Blue Nola. Y'all know I'll be looking for the, the latest, greatest article. <laughs> I'll be reading articles. I'll be on YouTube looking at all of that stuff. That does not give you a pass. I know a lot of people like to go and do that mental health check so they can, they don't have to, they just, you know, they may not be able to stand trial. They still go to jail. Um, It's too late for that. Her nursing career is out the door, sadly, period. She might as well give it up, girl. When you, when this is all over with and you didn't, Got slapped on your, you know, got slapped with your your jail, whatever you're going to do. You might as well work for yourself. Maybe reformed, uh, go create a liar, liars anonymous group, you know, for people that just are habitual liars. I don't know. Maybe she can create a little liars anonymous group. I don't know. But she's going to have to start something up where she can do some work on the side. You know, people who can't help but lie. Habituals anon- hip- habitual liars anonymous group. Maybe she could start that and get somewhere. Everybody just sitting there lying to each other all day. Can't even tell if the truth or not. Her nerves, uh, let's see what you say. She knew exactly what she was doing, period. I still feel that there's, we did her reading. Um, there's still a mental health there. Um, but people, I'm telling you, people like attention. I mean, even look at her social media. She literally like full fledged in a bikini with her V line out, like, like her actual V line, the way her body shape. You know, who in their right mind gonna stay in the Alabama woods? <laughs> exactly. And the people combed those woods. They had those people. They had remember. Not only the police were searching for her. They had formed search groups for her. She was not in the woods. That's what I'm telling you. So, where, who, how did you get out the woods? Where did you go from the woods? Who, where did you sleep those days? So, that's what I'm saying. Like, the girl, she's not playing with a full deck. She's still lying, guys. That's what I'm saying. She's still lying. She's still freaking lying. Notice she didn't address where she went. She just addressed where she didn't go. She she addressed where she didn't go, but she didn't address where she actually was. Because she can't say that because she's going to still be lying, right? So, omit that part. She's still got to figure out how to come up with a good explanation as to where she was. She's just going to have to tell the truth. Because at the end of the day, it's going to be discovered. Still lying. She's still freaking lying. Period. Like, this is... Hey, y'all. I'm not trying to beat this girl up. You know, but she's still lying. Yeah. She told us where she wasn't. Baby, where were you? See, that's the thing. And these police officers, child, they are very passive. They just sitting there like, yeah, we just waiting to talk to her whenever she, whenever she can give us a moment of her time. Well, that's Alabama's mighty courteous, baby. You be in New Orleans, your ass will be straight up in jail. Get your black ass in jail. <laughs> Alabama courteous like a mother. Baby, Alabama's courteous, huh? What's up? Shish, who's from Alabama? Yes, sir, ma'am. We're going to go ahead and let you um give us that interview when you can. This is no problem, ma'am. No problem. Have a wonderful day. We'll talk to you when you can. Just let us know when it's convenient for you, ma'am. <laughs> Alabama, mighty convert, convert, convenient, huh? Shish. Alabama just sitting there just as... 
This is Southern hospitality. Yes, ma'am. We we understand you're going through a tough time. Yes, ma'am. Oh, yes, ma'am. Have a wonderful day. Happy Sunday. <laughs> well, damn, Alabama. Are y'all over there mighty convenient? Mm. Okay. Baby, she would have been in New York City, clank. She would have been, she would have been, she would have been in New Orleans, clank, clank. She would have been in California, clank, clank, clank. <laughs> she would have been, she would have been in jail. Hell, she would have been in, in goddamn Florida, she would have been in jail. You know, they like to put them in jail real quick. Mm, mm, mm. You heard them saying they're calculating the cost. They're about to hit her with the restitution. Yes. I'm telling you, they just sitting back just as nice and calculated. The people, let me tell you. They, they, I mean, they passive, but I promise you this. She going to get God. She going to get God. Okay. She going to get God. They're going to come right back on it, on the news just as nice. Yes, this is, this is a, what's the man name? <laughs> let me see what the man name that was talking. Yes, this is Chief. I believe Alabama is only doing this because they're trying to be, I, I 100%. Let me pin your comment. Period. I think they're doing this because she's black. They're white is a bunch of, another thing is they need to put some black people up there. Put a little color up there when you're speaking about Carly, right? So that people won't feel like, eh, you know how people like to just get into it. Um, yeah. So put a little color up there. Throw, throw. Throw up the chief, the Hoover police chief gonna say, "Yes, we're back." No, first the first man gonna come out. Yes, we about to facilitate a, we about to facilitate an interview. Uh, 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 uh. We're gonna be conduct, um, and I'm, and, and we're gonna answer some questions today. And once we answer those questions, um, our chief is gonna give some backstory on the situation. And then the chief is going to come out and say, yes, if the further investigation, we have decided to press choice. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's going to happen, Gia. Because, you know, the first man got to come and set it up. Then the second man got to come in for the kill. Okay. Oh, yeah. The Hoover ain't about to play with her black ass. Nope. I'm telling you. But I agree with Slim for Slim's 40 when she said, I believe Alabama is only doing this because they're trying to be politically correct. She is black. I 100%, 100% agree with you. I think they're doing it in such a careful, methodical way that when they do go for her, they're going to be like, these people have been nice as hell. They've been passive. Actually, if you, if you even if you listen to the tone of the reporters, they're like, oh, so she just could just interview what she wants. Oh, she just can talk when she get ready. Oh, she just doing you like so. What are we doing here? Have you talked to her yet? Like, if you listen to the actual reporters, they're like, "What is going on here?" Yes, they're making sure they do their diligence to be politically correct. Period. Yeah, but you can even hear the reporters like, "So what about?" So she just so 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 even a lady was like, "So she had an interview, but then the interview turned into a letter." What? I know you're lying. So they even come and form like, what's going on here? What's going on here? So, nah, hey, hey, at the end of the day, we'll be here to, to, to ride the wave. Tory Lanez, uh, his actual sentencing is coming up um, soon. That is going to be, I believe, August. What's the day for his sentencing date? Tory Lanez, hold on. It's coming up soon. Be prepared for a little wave of drama. Um, we have been following the Tory Lanez case for over two years. So be prepared for that bit of drama involving and concerning Tory Lanez. Um, I know some people stand for him and I know some people don't stand for him. Um, I personally think he did it. Um, but just know that his situation is coming up soon. Um, notice they didn't mention how many of the 49 hours haven't been report accounted for. They know something exactly. Well, they're very careful and they're very careful in how they say stuff, right? Cause just like they knew it was a hoax, they, they confessed today, like they knew it was a hoax. 
Um, I'm sure they have some information, but they're going to cooperate it. See, this is the deal. You can't play your hand, guys. Listen, they can't say what they have until she says what she has, right? Because then they need to say what she's saying, figure out what she's saying so they can catch up in another lie. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I think they're doing the right thing by being careful about what they're saying because then um because then what happens is now that just builds their case to say she continues to lie even after confront confessing she didn't she wasn't forthcoming she didn't give the information she didn't she she still led us astray so there's no reason for them to give additional information about what they think until she says what she thinks because then now they can catch her up in another lie. Do you understand? So I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be going on there saying, well, I believe she went over here, here, here. I'm going to wait for her to say it so that, you know, so that, um, so that, cause when she goes to trial, her attorney's going to have to at some point say, where did you go? What did you do? You know, because you need to tell this jurors, you know, this jurors what happened to you. Where did you go? And at some point, she's going to be cross-examined. And so, eventually, the jig is up, guys. The jig is up. So, Blueface, his sentencing is October 2nd. But let's go to Tory Lanez. I'm just trying to keep up with our cases. Mm, 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 mm. I can't remember the date on Tory Lanez, but I do know his sentencing date is coming up. Whoever he is, the exactly the boyfriend's ex boyfriend yapping his mouth too, make his making it more easier. Well, he's just looking for attention too. You know, look how fast his social media grew. Um, you know, look how fast his social media grew from all his shenanigans. Tory Lane's sentencing day is coming up on August the seventh, guys. So Tory Lane's is August the seventh. Blueface is October the 2nd, I believe. His sentencing date is coming up. Bootsy is trying to get his charges thrown out. I think he's trying to get his charges thrown out. And he's citing that they violated his constitutional rights. Remember I told y'all in a reading that Boosie could try to get out of this by using the technicality. He's going for the technicality, guys. Pay attention. So Bootsy is going for the technicality. All right. Bootsy is going for the technicality. All right. So he's going for the technicality that they violated his First Amendment rights. So let's get our fingers crossed for Bootsy. Even though I think he's got a lot of shenanigans with him, let's have our fingers crossed. I want to. I don't want to see him in jail. Her computer gave all the police all the information they needed. Period. All right. So, so Tory Lanez is coming up August seventh. That's actually in how many days, y'all? Let me see. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's about 14 days away. In two weeks, Tory Lanez will be sentenced. All right. All right. And then who else did y'all ask about Jonathan Majors? We did a reading on Jonathan Majors. It almost feels like I could see I could see him kind of getting out of the situation. Um, maybe a slap to the wrist, maybe nothing major, but uh no pun intended. But I could I could see him, you know, not um not getting I could see him trying to get out of this. They need to hurry up and throw his little butt in jail. <laughs> He's already in jail. It's funny to me how people always say they need to throw him in jail or he need to go to jail or he need to be put in jail. His ass in jail. He been in jail for five months. Since Christmas, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. He been in jail for like seven months, eight months, huh? Well, this is January going into, I mean, this is July going into August. He been in jail, Right? Just giving him, to me, just giving him his sentence so he can know how much time he's going to actually have to serve. But he's already in jail, chill. I mean, we, I see people on use, on social media talking about, he. I hope he go to jail. He already in jail. I hope he in prison. He already basically in prison. All right, so that's that. All right, so this is the end of the road for me. I'm out, guys. Just came through just to kind of talk about this little case real quick. 
to confirm that we were on the right track the whole time. Thank you for everybody. Thank you to everyone who um, was participating. I'm just ready for the case to be on me too. I'm not going to lie. I'm tired of talking about it. But, you know, every now and then we're going to hear stuff springing up, springing up, springing up out the grass, shield. So, um, we'll be hearing like stuff, you know, here and there and everywhere. So, we just have to expect that um, situation, um, you know, you know, at the end of the day. Anything on Jonathan Majors, um, like what? We already talked about it. I have a reading on the reading with Jonathan Majors and Megan Good. The last, I would say, 10 minutes of that reading, maybe 10, 15, love you too, maybe 10, 15 minutes of that reading is about his, uh, what could happen with his actual case, his trial. So the Making Good, Jonathan Majors reading, the last 10, 15 minutes of it, there's a, um, the last 10, 10, 15 minutes of that reading is about his actual case. All right. Um, it's not set in stone. Legal situations could change, but it's actually there. I don't like to keep reading on stuff. I'm just like that. Um, because things, you know, I don't want to be saying, you know, like I've done that before in the past and then I was right the first time. And then I, you know, around here, you know, because I'm, you know, just worried about like, oh, you know, am I saying the right thing? Just leave it alone. That's why I don't read on a whole lot. You know, that's just like with the Jamie Foxx thing. You know, I read one time on Jamie Foxx. <clears throat> Thank you. Um, I read one time on Jamie Foxx and I left it alone. Now, you know, all these people looking like a bunch of loop, uh, fruit loops talking about here, clone. But anyway, I'm out of here. Take care. Stay blessed. Encouraging and empowered. I'm out. Take care. Bye-bye.